Pets. It's from 1984. He got this at an estate sale for $10. It took three months to sell and he sold it for. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have an awesome video for you guys. I'm going to tell you about some big money bolos. And this is a featured members video. And I was looking through his store, and it is like bolo after bolo after bolo. He is a major bolo finder. I am going to link him down in the description. He does not have a YouTube channel, but this is his eBay store. It is amazing steals and deals. So I will link it down below. And if you guys go and click that heart, you can follow him and see new items that he lists daily. And he just has an amazing eye for unique, rare, vintage items. Uh, very, very cool store. But he also has a wide variety of items from bread and butter to big money. But when I tell you he knows how to source, this man knows how to source. So that is the first page of his store. You will have to go down below and uh, check that out to see what else he has listed. All right. Let's, it looks like he has 1,137 items. Okay. So let's start with the first bolo. The first item is this rare Giovanni Decimon mid-century modern Italian pottery planter. It's a cat uh, or a lion or I, I, I don't know. I'm going to lean towards lion on that one, but look how fun this is. Let me know in the comments, would you have picked that up? I think I would have just because it's signed Italy and it's numbered and it just looks like an interesting piece. And he only paid $5 for it and he sold this for $110. The next item he sold is this vintage 60s mid-century modern Vernon Ware Metlock's tickled pink coffee pot. And I don't know, you guys, if you've been on my channel for a while, I sold a butter dish with the same pattern that I pulled out of a mystery box. Mine didn't go for quite as much, but it was definitely a bolo item. Um, so it was funny when I saw this because I'm like, I've sold that pattern before. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. He got this at an estate sale for $12.50 and he sold this for $120. The next item is this vintage Shirley Lunau, Lunau, L U H N O W, uh, just gourd. It's a hand painted gourd Santa. And you know, I pick up hand painted gourds. Uh, so far, mine are just sitting. So maybe this is like a special artist or somebody just really um, liked this print or how they painted it. And it is it is a very nice gourd. <laughs> but anyway, this one actually comes apart and it's a bowl. So that's pretty cool. Mine don't come apart, but very cool item. He got this at an estate sale for $5 and he sold it for $120. And I have noticed that folk art items do pretty well, um, surprisingly well. That's one thing that I never really branched out to that I've been trying to do a little more of, and I've been pleasantly surprised. So this is a light bulb. It's a neon light bulb. It's from the 1930s, and it's two horses. Let me show you here. This is what it looks like. And I believe... Jesse, Jesse shops sold some of these for someone, I think on consignment, but I saw them on her um, Instagram and I was like, those are really cool. And now I'm seeing that he had, he has this sale. So they must be, um, I wouldn't say common, but more common than I expected. I've never seen anything like it. I would have a hard time getting rid of it because it's just so cool. But anyway, he got this at an estate sale for $10 and sold it for $120. And while we're talking about Jesse shops, you guys got to go follow her on Instagram. She will make you smile. Um, she's also on YouTube. I will link her down below. All right. This vintage Christmas pixie elf figurine play full Japan mid-century modern. And he said these were still in the original packaging. Get out. 
Made in Japan. You guys know I love selling Made in Japan. These are just darling. I love them. Um, another thing that, you know, I'm just very, very drawn to these things. Look at this little guy. You guys, come on. How cute are they? He got these at, it does, it does not say where he got it, but he paid $5 and they sold in a few hours for $120. The next item is this uh, Starburst Mid-Century Modern Clock. And I love this also. Um, you guys have heard me say it before. I love Mid-Century Modern Clocks. I think they are fantastic. He got this at an estate sale for $8 and sold it for $150. So he does a lot of estate sales and um, Terry over at Mindful Recycle also does a lot of estate sales and they both are willing to pay up for items and you see these big profits, these big profit margins um, because they're willing to pay up some. But a lot of these items he's gotten really cheap. So that is fantastic. Vintage 1973 Fisher Price Little People Play Family Village. It's number 997 and it's 99 percent complete. He got this at a yard sale for $10 and sold it for 150. And somebody in a Facebook group requested um they were asking about Fisher Price little people. They wanted a like category video on it. So I will have one of those coming soon as well. My Dream Baby Interactive New Old Stock MGA Watch Her Grow Up to uh looks like it's from 2000 in the box. He got this at an estate sale for $15 and sold it for $160. He walked out of there with a baby doll. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, this Pewter Panther, it is a national, ooh, oh, I don't know how to say that. A-U-D-U-B-O-N society. I'm not even going to chop it up. But it looks like it's by Glenn Lotus. And it's from 1979. And actually, I believe somebody posted in my Facebook group something similar to this. And I do believe that uh, Christopher commented on it. But look at this. It's got the sketch with it. How cool is that? He got this at the Goodwill for $7.99 and took a best offer of $100. This is a, uh, is it Limo Limage? Limage? I'm going to go with Limage. I might be saying it wrong. France. Oh. It's a trinket box. Here it is. Let me get you a picture of the inside here. Get you some pictures so you know what to look for. Museum collection. Very cool. And you guys can see the title here. I'm not going to chop it all up. I apologize. And he got this at an estate sale for 20 and he sold this for $185. The next item is this vintage vinyl cameo SS key pie doll. I think that's how you say it. He got this at an estate sale for $15 and he sold this for $200. It is limited edition. This next one is a rare Metlocks. Uh, so is that, yeah, Metlocks Vernon. That's the same brand as that other dish, but this one is the Poppy Trail Peach Blossom Tea Set. And here is what it looks like on the bottom. And he picked this up at an estate sale for $30, and he sold this for $250. The next item is a St. John uh, Marie Gray. So he did say that this Marie Gray, if you see that, those go for more money. But his um, these come from his late mother's estate. He said he had about 10 of them. He listed them all. They all sold within... A week of listing anywhere between two and 500 each. There it is. That's what it says on the inside, if that helps anyone. He said the blingy they are, like the more bling, the more they go for. So there you have it. And he sold this one for 225, 225. And there were a lot in his solds. If you guys want to go into his solds, you can see some of the other St. John's that he sold. Meslin Platinum Authentic Black Crocodile Shoes. He got these at the Goodwill for $6.99. This is what the tag looks like on the inside. Sold in two months for a best offer of $200. The next item are these Oakleys. He said he found these at an estate sale for two bucks and he sold in three days for $280. He said they were in like a tote or like a, a, a bin and he looked up the uh, the number on them 
and they were like an older retired model. So he knew that they would do well. The next item is this Cabbage Patch Kids. It's from 1984. He got this at an estate sale for $10. It took three months to sell and he sold it for $200. This is a ZZ Top full band signed autograph VIP tour poster, poster, Gibbons Hill 2012 framed. And this is what it looks like. And he got this in a, at an estate sale. It was a box of eight items for $20. It took three days to sell and he sold it for 350. This is a taxidermy. It is a quail, uh, bird mount mint condition. Check it out. Would you guys have picked this up or walked right past it? Is that driftwood? Have you guys seen my video on driftwood? If not, you've got to go watch it. Um, he got this for 25 at an estate sale and he sold it for 325 best offer. The next item is this Tiffany and Company necklace. It is sterling silver 8mm ball bead chain necklace, 18 inch and an 8 inch bracelet. He got this for $150 on YouTube auction, Mr. Buys a Lot, and he sold it for $375. So he did pay up for that a little bit, but he knew it was going to be a quick and good seller. So there you are. Very nice piece. Okay. The next item is this Radco Musical Nutcracker Northern Starlight Santa Rocking Horse. It's numbered 142 out of 1,200. He picked this up at an estate sale for $50 and it sold fast for a best offer of $300. Uh, Christopher Radco can do, it, it's a big money bolo in a lot of cases. It can be bread and butter. It depends on the year, the model, um, how many were made, and you know, just like anything else, some are going to go more for the, more than others, but definitely always look up Christopher Radko. So very cool. The next item he sold is this 1970s United Airlines Hawaii Hawaiian figure, and it is a display promo mint condition. It says he got this at an estate sale. He did pay up for it, but he knew that it was going to be a hot item. He paid $100 for it, and it sold in a few hours for $500. And um, I did feature this in one of my other videos. I believe it was my um, Facebook member share. I think he shared it over there. So that one you may have seen before. This sewing machine, he got for $50 at an estate sale, and he had to have it serviced, which cost another $50. So he's all in for $100, and he sold this for $500. It is a Bernina, B-E-R-N-I. N A 830 record heavy duty sewing machine case and accessories service. And then he has a video down here in the comments or in the description section, which is a great way to show that the item works. The next item he sold is this the last of a legacy poster. Um, it says GSA Carson City Silver Dollar Sale Poster, government issued USPS. He said he could not find any comps, any current comps. He had to go to Worth Point and he found one that sold in 2018 for $650. So that's what he priced his at. He paid $10 for this at an estate sale. It was in a shed covered in dust. It sold in one hour for full asking price of $650. And for you guys that are not using Worth Point, I know Worth Point is not for everyone. It really depends on your business model. But for cases like this, oh my goodness, this probably made him so much more money than if he would have just taken, you know, what he thought it was worth and listed it. Like, let's say he thought it was worth two or $300. He would have lost out on all that money. So um, I love Worth Point. I do have several videos that show you how I use Worth Point and why I think it's worth it. There is a link down below that you can um, click on to see the rates for the different uh, plans that they have because they have one that is uh, just where you can look up solds. And then there's another that identifies like marks and stuff. I don't have that one. If anybody has that one, let me know if it's worth it in the comments. Um, I'm interested in that, but uh, never used it. So that link is down below. That is my referral link. And we are going to move on to the next bolo here. All right. This glass bowl, it's an unusual large MCM 
Murano Italian Art Glass Blue Centerpiece Vase. He got this from his um, mother's estate and it sold for $450 best offer. Okay, this is a M-A-M-I-Y-A, -A, Mamiya. And it looks like it's a camera, 645 1000S with C-Core C with 80 millimeter lens. So some sort of fancy vintage camera, it looks like to me. He said this was his late father's and it sold in one day for $675. This is a vintage Rockman headphone amplifier effects processor. Um, this was from his late father's estate also, and it sold in a few hours for asking price of $850. The next item is this, uh, another sewing and embroidery machine professionally serviced with extras. Uh, POF, P-F-A-F-F, -F, Creative 2144. Uh, this one was from his mother's estate also and sold it for $900. And he said that between all of the accessories and different things that he had that went with this, he made another $1,000 on those items. So I'm not even really sure what this is. Is it some sort of sewing machine, maybe um, embroidery sewing? But apparent, apparently it's special because $900. That's fantastic. And the last item, he picked up at an estate sale for $125. It was the last hour of the estate so sale. This was originally marked at $400. It's a Christoph Perils beaded 67-piece silver plate. So it's not even sterling, you guys. Silver plate flatware set, service for eight, plus extras. He sold this for $1,750. And it took six months to sell. So definitely a bolo. You know, we think about silverware and we're looking for the sterling. But how about that? That is a silver plate. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Also, um, I want to thank Christopher for allowing me to dig into his store and share these bolos with you guys. Fantastic items. Please go over and follow his eBay store. He store amazing steals and deals. Awesome stuff. Great way to learn also, because I'm telling you, if he's sourcing it, it's probably probably going to sell because he has that special eye for unique and awesome things. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here and a subscribe and another video down below. Thank you so much. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Uh, Worth point, list perfectly. The other things that I use for my business are also linked down below if you guys want to check those out. and. Thanks for watching. And, and, ooh, excuse me.